Tonight, a stern reminder from the people who took an oath to keep your family safe. The Atlanta uh, Police Department wants you to know it's cracking down on youth who violate the city's curfew. This reminder comes nearly one year to the day children were shot and killed near Atlantic Station. Atlanta News First reporter Joshua Skinner has the story. It was Thanksgiving weekend last year when two teens were shot and killed here on the 17th Street Bridge near Atlantic Station. One year later, Atlanta officials hope to keep that from happening again. On November 26, 2022, 12-year-old Zion Charles and 15-year-old Cameron Jackson were killed in a late-night shooting near Atlantic Station. We can't bring them back, right, but we stand with their families. In the years since, the city of Atlanta has done some soul-searching as to why. What leaders found was a flawed curfew system. APD had not been enforcing the curfew because of fines, because of penalties, and other difficult mm -hmm. situations that may penalize or burden our families. In June, Councilwoman Keisha Waits was one of 12 votes to eliminate fines from curfew violations. Curfew was never meant to be a panacea or a one-size solution to the challenges that we're facing. But it is an important one, which is why APD has preached stricter curfew enforcement all week on social media. This is simply a public service announcement to let you know that there is a curfew in effect in our city. In case you forgot, the curfew for kids under 18 is 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. on weeknights and midnight to 6 a.m. on weekends. It's knowledge not just for kids. The curfew alone doesn't work, right? It takes parents, it takes community leaders, it takes the faith community, business leaders, all of us leaning forward to wrap our arms around our kids. With the hope of quiet nights and thankful families. After 11 p.m., we need to know where you are. I'm Joshua Skinner, Atlanta News First.